national days. Yeah, please. Did you know today is Africa Industrialization Day? I've no. never heard of this. No, no, have I. And no. it's been going for 21 years. <laughs> wow. Mm, is who it started a, this? Is it a South African thing or like international? It's a United Nations thing. <sighs> oh, wow. Yes. But okay. more on a fun note, um, today is Name Your PC Day. Your PC? Have you ever named your PC? No. No, I haven't either. It's not like a car or something else. Mm. No. All right, well, today is the day that you should be naming your PC. Yeah. But like, I was thinking about like naming my PC, but like, it's like, oh, no, I'm not going to bother with that. Yeah. What I mean, it's you, the obvious. What, is it the male beast. or female? Is it male or female? <laughs> <laughs> Masculine that's a, good, or? that's a good question. Like, I didn't get that far. I was like, no, well, like what should I name my PC? I was like, ah, it's too much. No, well, I mean, when you name your car, would you give it a woman's name or a guy's name? Depending on the car. It depends Depending on the, on car. the car. Depends on the car, yeah. I would always give my car a female name. A female name, yes. Yeah. I would give my bike a female name, not necessarily a car. Why not a car? Just out of curiosity. <sighs> Because, I mean, this comes to, to, to European languages that have gender for different objects. Yep. Like a bridge is male and uh, something, I don't know, something else would be female. I think you're a sexist bastard. I think <laughs> you're a male and female. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I mean, guys, I haven't laughed so hard <laughs> for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I'm just saying. I mean, it's 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 an interesting concept because in this world of where we're trying to move away from gender and pronouns and all that kind of stuff, what do you do with the European languages that give um, gender to different objects? Uh, you, just create a, an EU language. Yeah. Well, this is it. I mean, do you do you nullify those? Gender. Well, we we start having a a, a funnaga law for uh, for law. Europe. <laughs> That's true. It, it's it's no sentence text structure. It's just words like, assembled. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway. So that's a whole different topic. Yes. We Talking about rabbit hole. nice weather for running, Oleg. It's globally so global organized hug a runner day. <gasps> hug a runner so day. You, but notice that the, the the key thing here is organized <laughs> you can't just run up to a runner and go give us a hug oh, you know, it needs to be done in an organized fashion yeah. does, it come with a, yeah, does it come with a COVID um, disclaimer uh, appointment well, COVID yes. test yes <laughs> yeah. you were talking about robots earlier traffic uh, lights. and the international list is the traffic lights which year was the traffic light patented on this day what would you say? Like, just shit, dude, I don't even know where to go. I don't know. I would so say it must would have to be connected with motor vehicle. It was in America. Yeah. Yeah, but it, it must be the reason for having a, a, a traffic light. Was it was it because of motor vehicles or? I don't well, know. it the, it was about automation. So I would I would like I would crack it and say it was before the first world war like in US. I don't know. I've got no idea. Before the first world war and before the great depression that would be my my stab at things. 1923. Okay, you just go. after. Okay. It's it's two it's 98 years ago. Jeez. Wow. And it was electrically operated automatic. It was an automated traffic signal. Okay. Okay. And was that on the road or was it on the rail? Does it say? Uh, it was road. Oh, road. It had to be on the road, yeah. Well, I mean, you also, I mean, you would also well, have it, automated signals. Out, but it was a lot of flags yeah. uh, used in the train system. Yeah. The, uh, yeah, the signals were already quite established in a manual fashion. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I mean, that clearly right. puts someone out of a job. A lot of people. But yeah, I mean, like you think about over, how the world goes and we keep on saying, oh, technology is going to replace these jobs and whatever. Well, the problem is the taxi drivers never stop at red signals yeah, and yeah. they get run over. Trust so me, it was a safety thing. Trust me, I know. All right. On this day in 1998, the first module in the International Space Station was launched. Wow. 1998. Wow. I thought it was earlier than that. Mm. Okay. Right. And on this day, 
Windows 1.0 was released. In what year? Nearly two years after it was announced, Microsoft released its first graphical operating system. Mm -hmm. Are you going to ask me for a year now? Uh, you'll probably get it. 1992? No. No, no, no. It had to be... No, no, no. It, it was before 95, right? So it was like, it had to be 94, 93. Because remember, there was before 95, there was Windows for work groups and... 3.1. Yeah, there was three. Yeah. Windows 3. But you're talking about Windows 1. I'm talking about 1.0. 1.0. Oh. It has to be like So 89. I would say, yeah, because cause IBM had their OS 2 operating system. In uh, what was that? Late eighties, early nineties. Okay, I don't know. Put put uh, us yeah. out of our misery. It was nineteen eighty five. <gasps> wow, wow. I know. That is I wasn't amazing. even. That is amazing. Nineteen eighty five, I mean, dude. I mean, when I started working on the mines, we were still running on DOS, on XT. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, were you guys? Were you guys? Unusual. Were you guys using two eight sixes? I my first my first PC after my Commodore sixty four was a, a PS one IBM PS one yeah and it was a two eight six. It was a two eight six. I think mine was a two eight six. Solid, yeah. solid. Mm -hmm. I only joined the party at a three eight six. No four eight six four eight six, eight, six. Yeah, Pentium yeah. Pentium M. <laughs> mm. <laughs> All right, uh, births on today. Today is Joe Biden's birthday. He was born in 1942. I mean, he does show his age a bit. Just a but little bit. What I thought was interesting was that he also shares a birthday. And there's not much in it. 17 years before him, there was another US president born. JFK. Uh, yeah, I was just going to say, please oh. don't ask me to guess. because I, I JFK, are you serious? On the same day? Yeah, they're both born on the same day, 17 wow. years apart. Wow. Okay. Okay. That's all I got for you today. Oh, thank you very much. That's been a very interesting, interesting like days of episode. Days of the past. Days of the past. But don't forget today you need to go and celebrate the globally organized Hug a Runner Day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, please. Name your PC. And don't forget it's Africa Industrialization Day. Yeah. What, whatever that means. Can you combine that into one event? Yeah. You could. I mean, it's also a beautiful day. You've got to celebrate all things beautiful, but I don't want to go down that road. <laughs> it's too dark and dingy here. Yeah. So, I'm sure there's a song that goes something about It's a beautiful it. day. Yeah, 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 it no, might no, have been no, some YouTube YouTube, song. Hug around her. African <laughs> industrialization. Yeah, okay. There, I think it's some, time to go. Yeah. I think it's time to go.